Okay, so now what we're doing is every, you know, 10 days to 2 weeks or whatever, we actually do some fish emulsion in our containers here. And I usually like to do about 2 ounces per container, and we fill these containers up about 2 thirds full, uh, these 55 gallon drums. And then we add like 2 ounces of fish emulsion and then we put the hose back in each one just to swish it around and mix it up and then you know basically every container is mixed at that point and let's talk about what I'm doing in the process of exactly what I'm doing because it looks a lot I have my holes in the top I've got my little um, funnel here and I've got a two ounce shot glass I'm pouring about one ounce of, the, of this in each one just because we're kind of running low today I think we have plenty to do it but we're just gonna do it this way. I'm doing this. This is just water. There's nothing else in here. It's just water and I'm just rinsing this out because I want all of it. And it also prevents making a mess as I transfer to the next Yeah, because it's stinky. Ugh. This is the part where you're glad we don't have smell of because this stuff smells like the most rotten <laughs> fish on the planet. So that's 511 fertilizer. Nitrogen is 5. We like to give it a little bit of boost. Um, the one and one is, I always have trouble remembering, it's, uh, what, potassium and, well, whatever the other thing is. You don't want too much stuff when your stuff is fruiting, at least, that's how it is with trees, right? If you do too much fertilizer with trees, the fruit falls off. So we just give it a little gentle boost with... This is also, I want to say time release, it's very mild, it's not yeah. like it's... It's not like you're giving your plants um, blood meal where it's going to be like this quick powerhouse of, of, of nitrogen. Right. This is a slower, it's a smaller amount, it's a slower amount. This is going directly natural. into the soil too. It's, it's fish emulsion. It's, it's fish. It's basically decomposed fish. And uh, I love how this one says deodorized, which yeah, is hilarious right. to me. It's not deodorized. I would hate to smell it before it was deodorized. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so that's pretty much it, and my little... Alright, so then basically we stick a hose in each one of these to mix it around just a bit. And uh, then we'll actually turn it on. And it goes directly into the soil through the watering system. Uh, the, the PVC, which is, you know, on each line over here, uh, has 1 16th inch holes in it, so the fish emulsion can pass through the holes fairly easily. Um, and we can blow it out if we need to by opening the end and uh, just putting your finger in the end of these, these poles at the very end of the garden back there uh, and forcing it to, to push through all of the 16th inch holes. Uh, that's how we unplug it. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. Uh, we like to fertilize every two weeks or so and that's what keeps everything really just cranking out here. Um, you could do other emulsions as well in your uh, mixing containers, but uh, we like the fish emulsion because it's nice and mild. And so there you go. We just mix it up. We're about two-thirds full right now, and so we just mix it up a little bit at full blast. And then... Oh, see, I told you, honey, all we had to do is water, and we'd be guaranteed some rain. Yeah, and it does look like it's going to rain up here, up in here. Gotta love that, monsoons. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. And have fun in your gardens.